Hey, how's it going everyone? Uh, another video here from katytech.co and uh, I'm Crazy Dave. This is an update that came over the air from Verizon. It's called FP1. Uh, basically it's kind of breaking everything that we had in place before and the developers have been kind enough to go out there and rewrite everything for us. There's an extra step in this routing process. So we got to start with the FP1 stock droid charge. So if you're not there, if you're coming from anything else, then you need to go ahead and go back and uh, follow my other video, get yourself back to a stock state, then you can move forward with this routing, and then that will allow you to move on if you want to, to ROMing, or you can keep it just rooted on stock. Uh, basically, we'll go over the little warning, complete everything at your own risk, you could break your phone. Basically, if you don't follow this step by step, and sometimes there's abnormalities, uh, you could break your phone. But in the droid charge, it's nearly impossible unless you affect the bootloader, and that's an extremely hard thing to do. Um, okay, uh, in this one, there's a little extra step that I wanted to cover. This may freak people out, but you need to actually change a file name in the file system. I'm going to walk you through step by step how to get there, how to find it, and how to rename it. Uh, it's not very hard to do, but you want to make sure you do this exactly um, as stated in the instructions. Uh, my suggestion possibly might be to watch the video all the way through to make sure you're comfortable with it first, and then you can go over to charge forums and go through uh, line by line all of the written instructions. All your downloads are, and all your links that are necessary, including the written instructions, are going to be on charge forums. Uh, they're kind enough to collect everything up for us and keep it updated. Uh, it's information that's spread across multiple forums uh, and work done by many people, uh, but they're kind enough to keep it updated for us. All right, first things first, you need to go ahead and collect all of the needed downloads. Uh, I'm starting on Windows 7. Uh, you need at least some version of Windows to do this. Uh, Samsung drivers that will talk to the telephone. Uh, Odin, version uh, 1.82. Uh, an extractor for Windows like WinRAR, which is a free download uh, for a trial for 40 days, but the trial never ends. Uh, you need recovery or clockwork mod recovery. It's the file that's going to be flashed to your phone via Odin. You need super user which is an app it's not the one from the market you need to download the one from the links um, and then take that and move it over to your SD card or you can use your phone to download it directly to your SD card by navigating to the website and then downloading it from there uh, you need ES file explorer don't worry about that yet but you're gonna download that with your phone via the market and that's gonna allow you to change that file system that we need to change all right, everything uh, should be downloaded by now. We'll get started. Uh, I suggest you first back up your telephone just in case. Um, I know you're not rooted, so you can't use some of the fancy backup apps, but there's a lot of stuff you can use. Uh, just assume that there's a possibility you could make a mistake and lose your data. Uh, but the idea is here, we're going to keep that. Uh, go ahead and install your Samsung drivers. Move super user over to the SD card or download it directly as I stated before. Um, I put it in the downloads folder. I keep everything in there related to flashing. It keeps it all kind of organized and nice for me. Uh, go ahead and open up Odin. Uh, you're going to want to put the phone into download mode, which is uh, removing the battery from the telephone. Holding down button. And then taking the USB cable and plugging it into the computer. Uh, you'll see it populate the yellow triangle if you did it correctly. And you'll also see uh, a COM port appear in yellow on Odin. It'll say a number next to it. The number is not uh, important. It just needs to say a number. So COM 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 more than likely. Uh, from there you need to take the battery and just place it back in the phone. Don't change anything else, just physically place the battery back in the phone. And it needs to be the stock battery. Uh, I use some aftermarket Chinese batteries as backups and uh, super long battery life. Uh, don't use that. You need the original stock battery. Right. From there, uh, you can go ahead and uh, 
click on the file. You should have extracted it with WinRAR if it was necessary. Um, if not, if the download link has been changed and you got the original file without needing for extraction, you can go ahead and be ready for that by clicking PDA on Odin. Navigate to the file and click on it on recovery. After you've selected that, go over to your checked boxes on the left hand side of Odin and make sure the appropriate boxes are checked. Uh, you can undo the, uncheck the uh, reboot. And then there's one other important one here uh, auto reboot and F reset time. So the only one that should be checked is F reset time. Everything else doesn't need to be checked. Okay, uh, this is your last chance here. Uh, from here you can still back out and nothing will have changed. Uh, so just a heads up, make sure you got everything in place. Double check all your stuff. And then once you're ready, go ahead and click start. Allow it to process. Uh, you'll see it scrolling through until it says finished. On the telephone you'll also see the word downloading, uh, excuse me, you'll see the blue line under downloading move across the screen as it's loading onto the phone. And up in the left hand corner of Odin you'll see it turn green eventually as it's processing. Once it is all finished and it says pass, you go ahead and take the phone and you can boot right into recovery. That means you need to hold volume up. Hold the home button. While doing that, hit the power button. Then, after the uh, Samsung logo appears, release the power button and the phone will go into recovery mode. Okay, once you're inside recovery, you're going to need to go in and change the uh, mount system to unmount. It will literally say the word unmount. That's what you're looking for. Uh, go ahead and follow this video and watch yourself or watch it to navigate through correctly. Okay, once you're done with changing it to unmount system, you're going to stay inside recovery and you're going to navigate to the uh, super user file that you have put on the telephone and you're going to flash that. So go to the update zip from SD card, uh, go through and select and navigate to the file. You can follow my video there to do the same navigation. Get to the downloads folder, which is way down on the list, select it and flash it. Select the update. And once you're done with all that, you can go ahead and reboot the phone.
right, key is here. Don't restart the telephone into recovery mode. Don't restart the telephone in general. It will erase the stuff you've done because it's not permanent yet. If you do manage to restart your phone for some reason or reflash, excuse me, or you uh, try to go back into recovery mode, you're going to need to reflash recovery again via Odin and follow the first steps because it won't be there. It just won't take. The system will override it. All right. Uh, once you've got it all booted up, everything is started up, which takes a little while that first time, you can sign in with Google, get everything started, let the phone fully start up. You need to go to the market and download ES File Explorer. It's a free app. Um, once you've downloaded ES File Explorer, uh, this is the part that gets a little tricky, and we're going to go through uh, step by step. I have a video of everything that you need to do in order to navigate to the install recovery.sh file. You're going to rename it install-recovery.sh.bak and that'll change it so it won't interfere with the system anymore which will allow recovery and the root to stay. Um, go ahead and we'll follow that video now. All right, you're all finished now. Uh, congratulations, your phone is rooted. Uh, you're on the stock version of root. Uh, you can go and flash, excuse me, you can go back into recovery mode and check to make sure that you're still on clockwork. If you're still running clockwork, then you know that it took. If it goes back to the original recovery of the stock telephone, then it didn't take and you need to redo the process. Um, basically, you're rooted on stock FP1, which will set you up to run any of the apps that you want to run that need root access, like Titanium Backup. Uh, you can also move on from here and flash FP1-based ROMs. So if you want anything custom or you need any custom themes, stuff like that, you're set up to go forward with that. Um, if you flash any older versions of ROMs, which you can do from here, uh, it'll take you back to an earlier state and uh, you'll be running an old setup. So if you want to go forward again, you need to go back through my other video and go back to the stock settings, and then you can move forward. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also you can follow me at Twitter at Crazy Dave. Uh, it's free, and uh, basically it just helps me stay motivated to keep making more videos. If I know people want them, I'll keep doing it. Uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching.